Hi everyone, Cara Santa Maria here. For thousands of years, people have been modifying their bodies. Have you ever thought about extending your senses beyond the limits of human nature? That's what body hackers do. And Madeline Schwartzman, professor at Barnard College in Parsons, has written a book featuring artistic examples of what happens when people improve the human apparatus with the aid of technology. What is the human capacity to extend the senses? I looked up the world beard and mustache winners and found all these incredible images, mostly of men, because I don't think women can grow their mustaches that long, thank God. And you would see these people that obviously had to go through doorways by turning and moving this way and weave, weaving around. And that was interesting to me. We don't all go through doorways the same. We don't all kiss our children, you know, sideways because we'd impale them. <laughs> so this led to a whole new wave of my thinking about the body and things like antlers and hair. Why can't we extend things out of our body, possibly our bone structure? possibly some nanotechnology, like perhaps Michael Burton and Michiko Nita's um, beautiful algae suits. There's all sorts of potential, and maybe we can use this possible exoskeletal mustache for hanging from a beautiful tree in a beautiful way, that is, instead of sitting on the ground. What are the possibilities? When man becomes machine to amplify the senses, the possibilities are seemingly endless. Like Stellar, a performance artist who pushes the boundaries of human perception. He had a third ear sewn on his arm. He took a 12-year quest to find a surgeon that would do that. And they um, created an ear, a real replica of an ear. And inside was uh, technological stuff that would allow him to have the internet hear him and his life. So whatever he did could be heard. And that's not even the strangest thing. I occasionally find something that is just absolutely delightful. And one of those discoveries was, sounds kind of scary, but electrocution of the face for conceptual purposes. One is Arthur Elsinar. What is the cause and effect of emotion, facial movement? And he does um, an out of sync pulsing so that eventually you start to see the face not working bilaterally symmetrical, like instead of smiling in both sides, something droops and something smiles. Uh, Daito Manabe took electrodes to the face for a different purpose. He synced them up to a beat because he wanted to, originally he wanted to try to replicate his own facial expressions in someone else, and then he wanted to see um, if he could take away emotion and separate it from the facial expression, which is a really interesting idea. What do you think? Want to electrify your emotions? Hack your body? Feel the world in ways you never thought possible? Come on, talk nerdy to me.